and in our last video we have created a custom component that renders the article so we have used the article in our home screen this screen that we have created over here and I opened this code in WebStorm but you can use Visual Studio Code if you want so in this video we will uh, render the actual data that comes from the API so to call the API basically we need to install one library it's called Axios okay so you need to type npm install axios and it will install the access library in your project you can open the web browser and go to the axios click on get started example and here this function you can use to call an API we will use this function shortly so before that uh, the API that we are going to use is the news API you can go to the news API dot org here you need to create an account so and you can fill up your name and email address etc and after that you get an API key just like this so this API key you should not uh, reveal this to anyone so that okay you can click on the documentation and here we have all the information regarding this API we are interested in, in this endpoints and top headlines we only want to display the top headlines so you can click on the top headlines and here you can use this URL to make the API call. These are the parameters it takes, API key which is required. You can also specify the country, category, sources. You can also specify keywords, page size, page, etc. Okay, so Axios is successfully installed. Now you can go to the Axios and click on and copy this code and then we can write our function const get news and you can just paste it we will create a state state is basically special javascript variables that uh, re-triggers the uh, render process of the app so whenever a state change it re-renders the component so we will create articles used it by default it will be an empty array here you need to import the use state and also the axios okay now you can go to the api and you can click on the top headlines and we are interested in this url just copy this and paste it over here now we can specify multiple parameters as you can see we have specified country category so let's specify the category and we specify the category as the technology so we get only articles related to the technology so here you can provide params category and you can provide technology remove this function 
and the response we get we simply console response dot data you can go to the local host where your app is running and click on the device that you are on. Now we just need to call this function over here. So for that we will use another hook called use effect. Use effect hook uh, basically use to perform uh, to perform a specific line of code which depends on the states so here this is an uh, dependency array we can provide different states over here it means that whenever those states change this function executes again so right now we only want this function to get executed whenever user first open the app so we provide an empty dependency array so let me just save this and if i go to the localhost As you can see we are getting our data successfully we are getting the author name content description we can get also published date we get the source title of the article the main URL the image URL and this all uh, information falls under the articles array so we can just display the articles over here Now we need to set these to our articles so that we can use these to render uh, the flat list. Let me just delete this. Okay, so now we need to part this information uh, using props. So click on the components and the article.js. Here, write props. First of all, we get the image via URL to image. So first of all, we pass that. Just remove this URL. Props dot URL to image. Now the title. We get the title using title so we write props down title then the description here we get the description over here Let me just delete this and write prompts now description. Here we need to provide the author prompts dot author because we get the author over here. Now what else we need? We need the date. So we get it by published act. Publish and and the source. We get the source via the name. Let me just write props dot source name and 
and let me just save this now let's use flat list you also need to import flat list from react native Okay, first of all, we need to provide the data. Which data we need to render? The data we need to render is articles over here. Then the render item. Okay, so we need to refer each object as an item. And for each object, we will display article. and it gets the multiple props let me just put it another line okay so what does it need first of all it needs the url image so we pass as item dot url image each object in this array each member is considered as one item then we need to pass URL image then we need to pass the title as item dot title Then we have description, author and published type. And published type. We also have a source name. Source name will be item.source.name because here we have source object and in that source object we have the name now the last we need to provide the key extractor every item in every item uh, need to have a unique key so that it can be differentiated from one another we will provide title in the differentiator let me just save this as you can see we are successfully getting our data we have our image over here we have the title we have the description we have the author we also have the published at date we also have the source this one lo looks like this one doesn't have any image but we are getting our data Now we can specify some more properties in article.js like in description we can provide the number of lines here we can provide the number of lines as let's say 3 now we only get the 3 lines over here if you see if the content is more than three lines then it will get truncated and we get the trailing dots at the end just like this now let me just uh, use the moment library to modify this date over here so open your terminal use npm install moment save it will install the moment library in your project you can go to the moment and you can select any of the date format that you like we will go with this one okay it's successfully installed let me just use moment 
and here we will use this over here and you need to import the moment let me just save this as you can see we are successfully getting our image is the format that we have specified as you can see april 6 april 6 so basically this is how you can get the data from an api using axios and you can use the flat list to create this beautiful scrollable list thanks for watching it